all right then guys hello and welcome back to the hq this is my house and you can see here i've actually got washing to do it's nothing worse than being minging so uh being a single parent i have to do all of this stuff anyway yeah i could get home helping but yeah it's cost again isn't it yeah could get married again i know some of you got one of those magic linen bins you just chuck everything in here it magically appears back into your uh, clothes drawers and that but not in this house we have to actually do the work yeah so not a problem and it's sheets day to day yeah that's why the washing machine's running in the background once every three months isn't actually too bad for cleaning your sheets and changing the bedding is it yeah so anyway let me get in the mood first because i got the george hat uh the fpns hat <laughs> the one that nobody pays any attention to or tries to avoid the subject to uh, work yeah fpns fucking bricks and slackers yeah <laughs> okay oh and before i forget to do this i will show you the t-shirt i'll show you my t-shirt which i dug out bought this a little while back hgv technician because freaking miracle worker is not an official job title yeah do you like it that i got uh, Facebook I think originally a couple of years ago and I got it for a laugh because you know what it's like yeah can you just do this can you just do that and it's like well read the t-shirt I'm not a miracle worker yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying don't you yeah anyway yeah so the Modcon teddy bear competition okay now what I did is uh, run through all of the comments people who had put seen it yeah you saw it yeah, you know what I mean don't you it looks like a teddy bear allocated you a number and then instead of getting George to do anything because he was quite busy um, I asked the uh, the teenager upstairs who is uh, on the internet at slaying anything that moves just to keep his aggression levels up yeah I just asked him pick a number between 1 and 72 Huge. give me a number between 1 and 72 Give me a number, pick me a number between 1 and 72. What the fuck? Just pick a number. Three. Three? Okay, that's three. So, yes, he picked a number, which was number three. Number three. So, if you have number three underneath your comment, okay, you're a winner. And I will tell you now, it's actually, bom, 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 Mark Bryant, yeah, number three. So, dudes, if you're watching this, I will put my email underneath in the comments so you can then uh, email me. I can't do it through Facebook at the moment because uh, my <laughs> I've been locked out of there. I forgot my password, yeah. And uh, you send me an email with your name and address and all that business, and I will send you off those break gauges, yeah. It's as simple as that. Done. Dusted. So commiserations to everybody who entered that didn't win. Now, I've got an idea to throw to you, which is fairly important, okay, because I'm looking at a way of generating some cash. I need possibly about four grand, four and a half grand to, to buy new equipment because video editing and everything else is very, very expensive and I've, my equipment is worn out, okay. Um, I could explain to I'll give you a behind the scenes, but most of you don't really give a toss. You just want to uh, see what's going on here, yeah? So it's, it's about up in the game. It doesn't make any difference to me at the end of the day when things fail and I can't do it anymore. Just can't do it anymore. But I've got to give it a try, yeah? So what I'm thinking of doing, and I'd like your feedback on this, is uh, doing raffles, all right? Uh, which means like selling numbers or tickets, if you like, virtual tickets. And uh, then... Um, announcing a winner okay so if I do a raffle for maybe something not as dramatic as my oscilloscope but if I get a good response then maybe I might put that up for uh, for a raffle yeah is to uh, is to raffle off stuff which is uh, new tools and older tools it depends how this works if people are really really interested in it then uh, then we'll do it okay but don't comment if you're not serious okay i mean a flutter of a quid every now and then is okay and if there's like 2000 of you watching my videos regularly then you know i could amass a certain amount of money and just keep this going yeah if not then we'll just have to take chances because you know what it's like 2021 it's it's a chances year isn't it yeah so I'm putting it forward to you, yeah? The other thing, and you probably noticed this, is that I'm doing covert 
competitions because I want to keep this away from opportunists who just sort of like just want to want to win things yeah uh, because it's about you guys at the end of the day if I get some and I can do a competition and somebody benefits from it all the better this is why I'm burying them in videos and doing it covertly okay that's the reason why no other reason because some people just scan YouTube and the internet for competitions and they enter them all day long yeah and then they sell stuff off what you do with the, the kit that you uh, win at the end of the day, all the better. And with the raffles, if you don't like the stuff that you win on raffles, then uh, you can always sell it, can't you? Once it's out of my hands, doesn't matter. Anyway, I've got to carry on with the domestic, which means taking the trailer for his hat off and have a good day, guys. Thank you very much for your New Year's and your Merry Christmases and everything else. And much love and regards to you lot. Yeah, keep smashing it out because Britain needs you now. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, you Canadians and Australians and American and everybody else. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Get on your buddy and all that, you know. <laughs> anyway, see you later.